That's the right thing to do. Report these guys as fraudulent. Fake oil filters are out there and they are running wild. This is the Gen 1. I dissected this one in a previous video, but it is so much worse. Apparently they are copying these filters to where that they say PPE on them. And a lot of people have no idea. They're very close to the same but at the same time, they're very, very different. They could cause catastrophic damages. So I really wanna break it down. How can you spot a fake from a real one? And right here, we have a fresh, brand new real one that I just got from PPE. This is the freshest of the deliveries. You can see I got a 50 pack over here. Those sold out off the website super quick. Amazon is a quick go-to, easy go-to for a lot of people, but I wanna show you how a lot of people are getting scammed. And it's really, really easy for people to get away with these fake knockoffs. And I'm gonna show you just how good they are at copying, but at the same time, so bad. But look, when you go on Amazon, you're thinking you're buying from PPE, Pacific Performance Engineering Store, but in many cases, you're not. You're buying from a different shop, sold by. That is the critical information right there. Sold by, audio, video, direct. We cannot guarantee that these are authentic oil filters. We cannot guarantee that these are fakes either. And I'm not saying that these companies are selling fakes, but I'm saying buy from a reputable company. And by reputable, I say, of course, I'm gonna say myself, right? So you buy from my website, they're all going to be authentic. I have a direct relationship with PPE. But if you don't wanna buy from my site or I'm sold out, absolutely go check out Diesel Power Products, Thoroughbred Diesel, DMAX store, those are going to be all authentic, good stuff. You're not gonna get any fakes. You can rest easy with that. Now for the Canadian viewers out there, tough sometimes to get some of these filters out there. Check out JBS Power Center. They are di direct with PPE as well. So that should cover all bases. Don't buy fake stuff, guys. But let's get into what are you looking for when you buy a filter and you have an unknown or unknown feeling that you don't know if you got a real one. First of all, take a look at the box. This is a genuine PPE one, obviously. It's wrapped in plastic, and the knockoffs will actually come, or could come in a box that shows a transmission filter. If you get one of those that show a transmission filter, absolutely decline it. They typically have the correct part number on there, but they have different verbiage on there. So we're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. But before we do that, I also wanna show one thing that I learned on my prior video. This is the knockoff one. I thought it was just the ones with the part numbers that they were copying. That's not the case. They have actual ones out there that show the PPE logo on there, all sorts of stuff. But the real ones are the only ones that have a magnet on the filters. So that's one indicator right there. Let's go ahead and open this up. So we could see exactly what a real one looks like because I don't want you guys getting scammed. If you haven't seen my other video, we'll just go into it real quick. It was missing so many different things. It was missing the anti-drain back valve. There was none in there. Uh, the PPE one actually has a really robust silicone anti-drain back valve. Very good setup. But we're gonna go and open this up and we'll know right away when you pull your oil filter out, if it's real or fake, and you're gonna be able to tell that because the fake ones have full plastic surrounding them. The authentic PPE ones have just the plastic around the top. We're not going to remove that because I wanna keep this filter as usable. These are, these are like gold. I mean, these are so hard to come by right now, but they are constantly being refreshed in the stock, and I'm telling you, when as quick as I get them, they're selling out. Seriously, this box of 50 right here, I just got in within three days, those were gone. So thank you to those of you that have supported the channel on that. Um, but let's get back into the filter here. When you roll it over like this, you're gonna notice this has a red anti-drain back valve inside there. The knockoffs will either have a black version or they won't have any at all, which was the case with this one right here that I had uh, cut up in that different video. Okay, I see a major problem right off the bat here. There's no drain back valve. So there's supposed to be either a piece of silicone, rubber, something along here to keep the oil from draining back. A big problem that I also noticed when I was cutting this apart was, look at the metal shavings that are inside there. If we had run this through a truck, those metal shavings would have gone into the engine. These are not safe. The aftermarket knockoffs are not safe at all. 
the media inside is different. There's nothing good about that filter. And I know a lot of people go, well, it doesn't matter if you don't have an anti drain back valve because the filter is mounted like this and it doesn't matter. But it does because the oil flow will actually still come down from the engine into the filter and flow back in. And then you have the top of the engine has no oil in it. But that's not what this is about. This is about making sure you get a real authentic oil filter. I wanna throw in one other little tidbit that I remembered right now. Look at that born on date right there. The aftermarket cheapy knockoffs do not have the dates listed on there. It's just a generic bottom. And this is a really old one that I cut up. Look, even back there, 814 of 2020 is this filter right here. But this one, about as fresh as it gets, 1225, 25. So check for all of those things when you're inspecting your oil filters to make sure that you have a good authentic unit. I'm also doing a video on the knockoff version of the Resonator Delete. I went ahead and bought one of these Resonator Deletes because these companies are going wild with this knockoff stuff. So be sure to check out that video. But this is a dangerous item as well. Not nearly as dangerous as running an oil filter as poorly designed as uh, what they're putting out there. I'm telling you, I'm putting this out there that way everybody stays safe. eBay is the same way. Be careful on eBay, guys. Be careful on Amazon. That goes for even AC Delco fuel filters. I've done videos showing AC Delco fuel filters that are knockoffs, but they look really good. Buy from someone you know for sure is authentic, like the uh, channels or the stores that I mentioned earlier. Let me know if there are any other uh, informative tidbits that you can offer to anybody else. I know people have commented on mine. I actually just bought a, a used, or not used, but a copy filter and I sent it back. That's the right thing to do. Report these guys as fraudulent. You don't want them continuing to sell on there and ripping people off. We're out here to build the community. Everybody stay safe, buy, buy good product, keep uh, maintaining your truck super well. Until next time, see ya.